What's up, this is Stephen Bloodworth, and this is my review of Devil's Junction, Handy Dandy's Revenge, directed by Jeff Broadstreet, Casey Penn, and released by Midnight Releasing. First things first, it feels amazing to be back reviewing titles from Midnight Releasing and Brain Damage Films. Expect plenty more reviews of the Midnight and Brain Damage titles, and even some more videos for Traces of Death because I know you guys want them. So I've been seeing this one advertised a lot on social media. It seems to be a big hit on their streaming platform, Terror TV. But again, this is Devil's Junction Handy Dandy's Revenge. And before we get into the review, I must say, finally, a film from either Brain Damage Films or Midnight Releasing to have Bill Mosley in it. The film starts off with a group of friends leaving a concert. One of the friends, Stefan, tells everyone that he has a surprise for them and leads them to this eerie abandoned warehouse. Stefan tells them that his father has bought the property and Stefan is trying to convince his father to let him take it on and possibly open an after hours club. Inside, they look around and discover old ventriloquist dummies and film equipment. Stefan then tells them that this warehouse used to be the home of an old television show, kind of similar to like Howdy Doody. When children started disappearing, the show was shut down and the studio was left abandoned. And of course, they mess around in the studio, they mess around with the dolls, a couple goes to have sex, and it's really no surprise the dolls wake up and start wreaking havoc. The original puppeteer, Mr. Jolly, returns and confronts Stefan's father, who happens to be played by Bill Mosley. In the beginning of the film, we could see Bill Mosley have this sort of standoff between a guy on top of the television studio and the both of them look like they're fighting each other in some sort of supernatural way and the guy is just more powerful than Bill Mosley. Turns out the guy in the mask is Mr. Jolly from the TV show and he wants to air one last special. And this last special involves him and his puppets killing everyone. So that's the plot of the film without me giving too much away. Now let's get into my overall thoughts on Devil's Junction Handy Dandy's Revenge. First off, I gotta ask, does the dummy in the cover art look like Slappy from the Goosebumps TV show, or is it just me? The plot is similar to many other horror films with kids going around an abandoned and haunted location and an evil spirit or spirits going after them and killing them. Yet the filmmakers did a pretty good job, it's fun all the way around and there's never a point in the film where you're left bored. The characters are pretty good, it's awesome to see Bill Mosley in this film. I really wish he had more screen time in the beginning, but overall I love just seeing Bill Mosley in any film. Your main characters are pretty diverse, my favorite one probably being Stefan because he seems to be the brains of the group, but he just turns out to be your total run-of-the-mill dickhead. The dummies in this film are actually pretty goddamn funny, and they're also pretty witty. And this film contains a lot of great gore and some pretty awesome splatter effects. This is definitely not a film to take seriously. This is one of those films made for anybody that just wants something fun to watch. Definitely not meant to be taken seriously, yet a very fun watch. For a rating, I'm definitely going to give Devil's Junction Handy Dandy's Revenge a solid would recommend. If you want to get a copy of the film, definitely go to MidnightReleasing.com. Link will be in the description as always. Or if you want to watch it on demand, you could check it out on Amazon Prime as well as Terror TV. If you're a fan of brain damage films and midnight releasing, I cannot stress checking out Terror TV enough. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this review. 
If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all of my latest videos posted every Monday and Friday. And also make sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram to stay posted on what I'm doing behind the scenes of making these videos. Before you click off this video, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below saying if you've seen Devil's Junction Handy Dandy's Revenge and what you think of it. Until next time, take care and stay scared.